So the water is starting to come up just a smidge already, unfortunately. But one of the big problems this year is how cold it's been. This whole strip in the bottom was just full of ice and snow and I couldn't get to it. And finally, it just barely peeled off. So anyways, this is one of my favorite swimming holes because uh, when this when the swimmer's rings hit those rocks, it's it's over. So there's usually tons of clad. You know, get a little jewelry. Of course, I've hit this for years and years. So mostly going to be just fresh drops. But let's see if there was something good left behind. First target, 22 shell. Looks like there's also is that a marble. Well, here's the first good signal. Sounds like a quarter. And I can see it already. Yep, quarter. Well, this sounded terrible. My first piece of jewelry. Looks like, oh, that's a ring. It's more like it's a piece of an earring or something. Definitely bling. But <clears throat> just to kind of keep you updated, I don't know. I probably have like 10 coins already. And I've only been here like 10 minutes. But we're in the jewelry. There's a little quarter hiding. So one thing about it, you get a lot of weird sounds in the rocks because, you know, they might end up on edge. Or something like that. So if you if you hear anything in the rocks that's repeatable, you really want to dig it because you know a lot of times it'll be a coin on edge or something. Maybe even a ring on edge would be awesome. Wow, I got a screamer here. What do we got? Could just be a big piece of iron falcon or something. rocks sounds better huh. what do you think <laughs> crazy and that just shows you VDI stuff in the rocks because look penny I was ringing like a half dollar wow I just got a weedy <laughs> what that means that means I've been over this spot probably I don't know, 10 times and missed it. Yeah, sometimes it just takes the right angle or, you know, the water is going to move these rocks a little bit. Frost is going to move it a little bit so you get a little bit better angle. Yeah, that's a shocker for this spot. 45. Look at this ring right on top not even in it's not ringing very good though so I don't know what it's going to be huh let me see if there's a mark it's probably stainless hold on so this ring is kind of confusing me because it just seems like it's ringing up wrong but the brand is King Will it looks like a tungsten ring. It's not ringing like a tungsten ring. Usually those are, one of this size would be more like a 17 or 18. But this little, I don't think I can do it for the camera now, of course. But anyways, this little blue chain actually spins inside of this. But for a junker, this is a really nice ring. I got it spinning a little bit there for you. See it? Pretty cool. Let's see what else we can get. So that's an 11 under the dock. I like that sound. It's got a chance to be a gold ring. Oh, it is a ring. Not a gold one, though. But another ring. Nice. Uh, I think it's going to be like another, another tungsten one. Boom. 
Well, maybe our next ring will hit precious metals. What do we got here? I'm sure it's not a gold coin. <laughs> oh. Well, some sort of token. Then I'll get you going for a second. <laughs> Look at this, guys. I got me a 12. 11, 12. There we go. Oh, I think I see you already. It's some sort of ring. Get in there. Look at that. Ring number three. I don't know if that'll be anything. Probably not. I'll look for a mark. Hold on. Yeah, I think it's just junk. I don't see a mark, and it's it's real light. Okay, so I hit these same swimming holes pretty much every year. And so last night, I cleaned that one out. It doesn't take me very long because I have almost all the targets cleared out of it. So last time I was here, I kind of hit this upper part, and I got a silver ring. You can see kind of where this disturbed looking dirt is that used to be a big block of ice and i haven't hit this yet so i just walked down here haven't really done anything yet but look at this right on top i think that might be a half dollar it's crazy when's the last time you got a half dollar off the top i don't think i ever have well I'm only a couple targets in, guys. Look at this. So you got me some sort of bling ring. <laughs> All right, that's... I'm due. <laughs> I'm due for a real ring. Man, I was getting just a ticky, ticky little 12. And I think I got me in here. Yeah, I do. You know what? Yeah, it might be silver. Let me wash it up. So it's like a little pony stuttering. And it is. It's marked right back here in the tail. 925. Already on some silver. That sounds really looking up. So this was a, a five. <laughs> mm. Man, you just never know, do you? So that's another ring, it looks like. Another blinger. Some sort of a band. But, you know, I've only been in here like 15 minutes. But that's what happens sometimes in these swim zones, man. Like, it just seems like it just falls in that right spot. A couple lines through here, you never know what you're going to get. Look at this. I had a four. Dug me an Easter egg with a Reese's peanut butter cup. Do I eat it? <laughs> I think it was in the shell. It was just fine. That's funny. I've never dug me a Reese's peanut butter cup. That might be the best treasure I've got in a while. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Eat it or throw it away. Well, got a key. All right, so the last place is cleaned out. It's been kind of a letdown. I got five rings on the last couple days, and none of them are precious. I guess I've just been on the street getting kind of jaded. Every while, it seemed like every one I got was silver or gold. But anyways, give you a little peek. We got some more swimming hole action here. So I'll see what people dropped last year. All right, my first non-clad. I guess I got a couple full tabs, but hey, there's a piece of jewelry. Part of an Oh, look at that. What do we got here? Uh, another bling ring. All right. <laughs> they are killing it on the bling. Huh. Now that's kind of a weird piece. I don't know if that's like an old brooch or what the heck that is. Huh. Interesting. Wow. <laughs> it's like turning into a relic kind of all of a sudden. 
Anyways, there's part of a drawer pole, looks like. You know, I was just saying, to myself, this could be an Indian head Benny. Oh man, it's even an old one. Well, old for here. Oh, it's beautiful. Look at that. 1897. Oh, how sweet is that? Yeah, I got a 20 and I was just thinking, huh, all these relics? Maybe they'll give me an Indian head. There it is. Oh, it's beautiful. And I don't know what I got here. Oh, dude. You gotta be kidding me. What that is? That looks like a really old ring. A little copper or brass ring, I guess. Neat. Mm. Well, that probably ages about the same as that Indian head penny. That's probably late 1800s, early 1900s. Crazy. All right, now that is neat. What is it? Looks like a sword. I don't know, maybe with a snake. Looks like a sword. Maybe wrapped in thorns with a crown with a cross going through it. So probably some sort of religious jewelry. Looks old. So it says Montana Commanders organized May 14th. I think of 1889, and then it says Butte, and then it says August of 1916. So Montana Commander, I'll have to figure out what the heck that organization was but that's definitely an old pen of some kind all right with a little help from people smarter than me this actually uh, turned out to say commandery which is apparently knights templar and if you look really close on the hilt there i don't know how well that's going to come in but that's actually a little templar cross and of course the the cross through the crown is a Templar symbol. So this isn't the medieval one. But this is still really cool. I mean to think, uh, and the date I think is 1888, they said that they were organized. So, I mean, this, this is a really old pen. It says 1916. But it's interesting because they organized before Montana was even a state. 1888 is, I think, one year prior to Montana becoming a state. So, anyways, really cool relic. Man, this little spot that the beach just keeps on giving. There's an old Chinese coin. Sounded just like a penny. Oh, man, that's awesome. I bet that one's an old one. Wish I had a way to really tell. Look at that, somebody's got a little four-wheeler they dropped. Well, you know one thing about relics, they are fun. Here's an old spoon. I really thought that was going to be a pull tab. Lots of kids swimming with cars, I guess. Alright, well, that didn't turn out exactly the way I planned. I guess we did get a silver earring. Uh, it is always fun just to dig a bunch of rings no matter what. And that one tungsten with the chain, that was super cool. But in the end, of course, my favorite stuff is actually the relics. That uh, Commander's Religious pin or whatever it is, that's probably my favorite thing of the whole hunt. That's pretty awesome. And don't forget that little... Um, I don't know, probably early 1900s, late 1800s ring. That's pretty awesome. I mean, that was probably 
really special to somebody. May not have a lot of value metals wise, but yeah. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. See you next time.